Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about what is the pattern when multiplying by powers of 10. Now, it's a really important concept to really think about because oftentimes, not just in math courses, but also in science courses like chemistry, you're really multiplying uh, by powers of 10, and that's when it comes to scientific notation. So there's actually a really nice trick to think about when it comes to multiplying by powers of 10, and here it is. If you have, for example, 5 times 10 to the 4th, if you have a positive exponent of 10, that tells you how many places to the right you're going to be shifting the decimal. So for example, 10 to the fourth means you're going to be shifting the decimal to the right four places. So that means, since you know it's five, the decimal is here, you're going to shift the decimal to the right four places. One, two, three, four. So that means the final answer is going to be 50,000, which is no surprise because 10 to the fourth is 10,000. Now, if you have a negative power, so if you have 5 times 10 to the negative 6, what that tells you here is if it's a positive exponent, you're going to shift the decimal to the right. If it's a negative exponent, you're going to shift the decimal to the left. So you have 5. You're going to start here, and you're going to be shifting to the left six places. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to put zeros in place of that, and that's going to be your final answer. So the key is determining the sign of the exponent, and then that'll tell you what direction to shift the decimal in when it comes to the powers of 10. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how you determine multiplying by powers of 10.